Whether it's Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, we're all on some sort of social media these days, but our accounts don't always stay secure. And a Phoenix woman, sadly, she found out the hard way when a scammer hacked her Instagram and demanded a ransom. Here's three on your side's Gary Harper. Well, hackers are constantly combing through social media looking for accounts that they consider valuable. By valuable, I mean accounts that have a lot of followers or maybe a lot of activity. Now, if you have an account like that, you will be targeted and you might be locked out. You could say Jenna Abadessa is pretty experienced when it comes to social media. With the help of her son, Charlie, the two of them have an Instagram account with nearly 40,000 followers. It took a solid four and a half years to get to almost 40,000, so it didn't just shoot up instantly. In fact, Jenna's Instagram account has such a large audience, she's known as what's called a social media influencer. That's when companies pay someone like Jenna to use their Instagram accounts in order to promote their products. We've done work for Target and Walgreens. Um, Fry's Food is one of our biggest. Jenna says the pay is so good as an influencer that she was able to reduce her full-time job down to just working one day a week. But things fell apart recently when Jenna realized a hacker had changed her email address, allowing them to take over her Instagram account. Is your heart beating at this point? Are you going, what is going on here? Yeah, I honestly like thought it was a joke. But, but it was no joke. The hacker emailed Jenna saying, your account has temporarily been blocked. It's perfectly safe and we haven't touched it. The hacker goes on to say, if you do not respond, we will start to clear your account, delete photos, and sell your account. I'm just kind of stunned. Like I'm like, is this real life? <laughs> The hacker demanded Jenna to pay a ransom using Bitcoin, but she didn't. Instead, she reported the issue to Instagram, which claimed there was nothing it could do. For the most part, these are organized crime units, Russian, uh, some in China, some in Bulgaria. There's Ken Colburn is a tech expert right here in the Valley and says most hackers are overseas. He suspects Jenna's Instagram account may have been hacked because she was not using two-factor authentication, which basically allowed an open window for her account to be breached. So you need to be turning two-factor authentication on every single account that you have because they're going to they're gonna use one account to get into another, and they know how to do this. Jenna says she's left devastated. She never paid that ransom, and as a result, the hacker deleted her account. She says the sinister event is so disturbing that she and her son won't try starting another Instagram account again. It took so long to build that account, and it was so much work, and it, it's, kind of, it's kind of emotional. Like, I just, I'm going to, I'm going to be done, yeah. Again, always consider changing your passwords on all of your accounts on a regular basis. And don't forget, use two-factor authentication. I'm Gary Harper, three on your side.